Hi, thanks so much for joining me today. We were talking all about empties, and I think these are really interesting because someone's used up a whole product and they're able to tell you whether they would repurchase it or not. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot of things in this bag right here. So let's just start with one. Oh, this one. This one is almost out again. It's the Ambient Lighting Powder and Radiant Light by Hourglass. It's once I've hit pan like this, it's time to order a new one because it's not long until I need the next one. And I do use this every day. I love this. If you have not been here before, I do love it so much. I have swatches for my other <laughs> video, so let's try it right here. There it is right there. Just beautiful. Someone was asking me, they're a little bit deeper in skin tone and they wanted to know what the best color was for them. And this is the deepest one, as far as I could tell. This is the deepest one, so. It is a very golden and bronzy and has more of like a goldish tone to it. Really warm, beautiful. Chanel, I just talked about this one recently. It is the uh, waterproof eyeliner in Terra Rosa and it's just at the end there. Really great plum color. And if they're out of this, I'm gonna have to find it in a different line or something similar to it because I do prefer this to using either black or brown but it is very creamy still at the end there and performs just like it did when I first purchased it. And that was last year, I wanna say. Elginest Liquid Collagen. I actually ran out of this about a week or two ago and I stopped, of course, using it because there's nothing left. Uh, and I noticed I was getting really dry up here. I actually just repurchased a new one and hopefully my skin will get back to where it was before. It is on the pricey side, but I haven't found a product that does what it does, so it's something that I will continually repurchase and hopefully find some promotions on. But if you haven't tried this and you wanted to, it does deliver. For me, it does create more of a supple feeling to my skin and I don't have that tightness and any potential fine lines are more difficult to see with this product. I noticed when I stopped using it, I was seeing like more texture here. By Terry, the Gloss Terribly Shine in Bitten Splash. It's almost, it's almost my lip color. This is beautiful. It has a nice anti-aging element to it that plumps up your lips without that peppermint feeling. So if you wanted to try any of the By Terry glosses, I do have another one in a different shade as well. It performs the same. I am going to repurchase this at some point, but there are a few more things I'm waiting for to come on the market by Hourglass first, and then I'll and then I'll repurchase this. Orbe Hairspray, I love this. It's a very fine mist. It's a medium hold. I don't like hold that's too firm. I like movement to my hair, and it smells really good, so I love this one. YSL Vinyl Mascara, I had a video on this. It's very nice. I think that some, along the way, as you can see, it doesn't completely align anymore. It wouldn't twist close all the way and I think some air was probably in and dried it out earlier than it was going to be dried out, but it's very nice. I liked it on the first, I don't know, the first few weeks was really nice. It had a very smooth application, but then like I said, it dried out, but it was very nice if you wanted to try it. Bakel Cool Eyes. This was my last one. I think I purchased my last room from the UK and then I just can't find it anymore. It has a nice roller ball on it. It depuffs the eye area, but I cannot find it. So I've had to move along and trying something by Clinique, but if you know where I can find this and what happened to it, that would be great because I would repurchase this. Bobbi Brown Retouching Powder in Peach, number four. I love this over darker areas to color correct on top of a concealer because sometimes when I add a powder, it'll deepen that area again. This doesn't do that, actually adds another layer of color correcting. Someone asked me if this was a good powder for setting the under eye. It will add a little bit of color though because it's peach, but if you're looking for that, then I didn't find any creasing with this, so if you wanted to give that a try under the under eye, it's very finely milled, beautiful powder. Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Eye Cream. Again, one of those staples, something that I purchase over and over again, and it's really emollient. I'll actually even bring it down to this cheek area if that feels dry. So I have not found another eye cream that I prefer more than this, so I am sticking with this and still really happy with it. I use it in the winter and in the summer because that area is just extra dry. So if you have an extra dry eye area, this is a really great cream. So I just apply it to the bottom of my eye area, not on the top lid, and I just let it soak in. Shirley, activating water essence. 
This is a really nice product. It's the first thing that I put on my skin right after I tone and it just adds a nice, very sheer, very light layer of moisture. I'm trying out the SK2 right now to see if I like it better than this, but if I don't like that, I will repurchase this. But I've heard so much about the SK2 that I thought, let me try that next. But I'll let you know if I find any better results with that one. If not, I will go back to this. This one is not as expensive as the SK2, but it's also not inexpensive. Another by Terry item. It's the Balm de Rose, but this one has a color to it. This is in Toffee Cream number six. I love the original Balm de Rose, and if you listen to, I think there's a podcast by the Anna Edit and Lily, Lily Pebbles, they interviewed her and she talked about the story behind the Balm de Rose. And what essentially happened, as I recall, is that they doubled the active ingredients in here, and that's why it's so potent and emollient, and she really wanted to keep that formula, so that's why it's a little bit more expensive than other lip balms. I think I'm going to go back to the other one because I like to sleep with it on, kind of like a sleeping mask for my lips, and this one has color to it, so it'll end up on your pillowcase. But this was really nice if you want to go for a no makeup makeup look this is a really nice color but I think I will go back to the original formula although I saw it was in stick form too which is kind of nice because then you don't have to put your fingers in the pot you can just apply it with the stick so if you have that one let me know if it's the same or if you feel like the original is still better Tom Ford sable smoke as you can see I've not emptied this because it smells funny and that's kind of the point where you need to get a new one. So I do have a new one, but I just want to point out, like it'll tell you that it's ready to go when it smells funny. But this is really pretty. I talked about this in the last couple videos. That is a staple of mine. Another staple, Even Up SPF 50. Brighten, correct, protect. You think I work for color science? I don't. But I use this every day as my sunscreen under my makeup. So right after I moisturize, this is the next thing that goes on. And I, like I said, been adjusting it with a couple bronzers to make it more my skin tone because it is not my skin tone coming out. Um, there's nothing left or I'd show you, but it's lighter than my skin. So if you're lighter than me, that might work. Although I heard from someone who is fair and it's too dark for them. So if they would offer a range, that'd be great. Marc Jacobs Highlighter in blacker. It's the perfect thing to put in the waterline. It doesn't move. It doesn't tug. It's very smooth going on. It's very intense in terms of its color. It's very black. I've tried other eyeliners in the waterline and I don't like them. If you're looking for an eyeliner that goes on smoothly in the waterline and stays all day, then try this out if you haven't tried it already. I will repurchase that one. Actually, I have a few backups already. Sephora had those as uh, 100 point items. I think last month, so I picked up a couple of them there for travel. So be on the lookout for those staples in the Sephora points if you have Sephora points, because that's what I spend them on. Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel, and this was in Dark Brunette. I liked this brush a lot. It's the one that has the short and long sides, and someone mentioned that they would love if this brush came with the Glossier Boy Brow formula. This is more fine than that. The Glossier Boy Brow, it puts things in place quickly. It's a little bit thicker. This is very fine in terms of its formula. You have to build it up. If you have the fine brows, maybe that's why I keep saying fine. If you have thinner hairs that are easier to manipulate, then you'll like this. Uh, I think it, depending on the kind of hair that you have, this would work with it. Speaking of hair, the Daviness, I always thought it was Divine's Daviness. This is a volume boosting mousse for long lasting buoyant textures. Nice to run through my hair and when I curled it I noticed that the, the curl actually stayed and the shape that I wanted stayed. So this is nice, although the current routine that I'm doing in my hair kind of substitutes in for this. So until I get bored of my current routine, which is like a root lifting product and then a serum, uh, no, and then it's an oil and then there's a blowout concentrate that I use now. But this is nice if you want an overall kind of volumizing and shape keeping. This is good for coarse hair. I liked it a lot and the smell is really nice too. It smells like 
I don't know. It smells good. It doesn't smell sweet. I don't like sweet fragrances, like sweet food smells or sweet flowery smells. I like clean smells and this has more of a clean smell to it. Oh, a drugstore item. Acetone nail polish remover with convenient pump. This is from Target and if you lift it up, you can just put your cotton pad on here and push down and then the product comes up through here so you're not dealing with the cap and turning it over. So I like the dispenser on this and I've already purchased another one. Eyebrow products, Wonder Brow. I think I just talked about this one in the last video. This is the one, the black brown. And again, if you are looking for something to hold your brows in place and something like the Hourglass isn't strong enough for you, this will hold it in place. And it lasts a long time. I think it's supposed to be waterproof. It is one of the longer lasting eyebrow products, especially if you need to fill in your eyebrows, like sparse areas, this will fill it in really nicely and not really move around during the day. So I tend to do this and then wipe my eyebrows away. This doesn't get wiped away when I move. I mean, if you try hard enough, it will wipe away, but it's not gonna be like an accidental, oh, I wiped away my eyebrows. So give this a try if you have that issue and you have some sparse areas, this is a good one. It's from the drugstore, it's from CVS, but it's also, I think, $22. Medica Retinol Complex 1.0. I'm using the Envy Medical, Envy. I'm using the Envy one now and it has retinol as well. So that's why I'm not repurchasing this. And that one also is supposed to address dark spots. Uh, but this one, it says the exclusive retinol formula is encapsulated with phytoshield complex and antioxidant complex, enhancing skin texture and minimizing irritation. So if you are irritated with retinol products and you haven't tried this one yet, there's supposed to be something in here that doesn't irritate your skin. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for the Envy Medical one, I would repurchase that one. Okay, some hair products. If you've noticed, my hair is, <laughs> it's up again but I did have to cover it because I don't get my hair color till tomorrow. I used the Rita Hazen Root Concealer Touch-Up Spray in dark brown black. So if you have any sparse areas, I know they do that for weddings a lot too. If you have a part and it's really showing a lot of your scalp, you can spray this in there and it minimizes the appearance of thinner hair. So if you wanna try that, this was pretty good. It has a nozzle that's pointed. I know there's an Orbe one too. And to me, they kind of do the same thing, so it just doesn't have their brand name, but make sure you hairspray on top of it or else it could transfer. I've got the Cover Your Gray Waterproof. It says it's waterproof. It looks like a giant mascara wand. And this is nice if you just want a spot cover because sometimes I have like two or three that just don't want to get covered up by that. So it's a little bit more precise. So I would repurchase this, but they're all for different purposes. Then I have this powder, the Color Wow powder, and I think it's supposed to be waterproof as well. It's a brush, this brush, and then it looks like an eyeshadow, and you put it in here and you can cover your roots as well. So I will use all three of these for different reasons, and today I use them all because I was at the end of that, and then I needed to cover a few more, and then I needed to go in and just kind of again fill in some of those areas so if you have sparse hair that you want to fill in this is another alternative it's easier to travel with that aerosol can I'm never sure about traveling oh hi I'm never sure about traveling with uh, aerosol cams so I just don't so I can travel with this a lot easier if you need to touch your roots up when you're traveling. So with dark hair, as you know, the minute you leave the salon, you can see a little bit of your roots because it's just such a contrast. So it's important that I have things on hand to take care of any of those roots because they will show up and they will show up quickly even after I get my hair colored. Another hair product, the Wella Oil Reflections. I use this every day and of course now it's empty so I already purchased a new one. I just add it to the bottom part of my hair, like from here down. A few pumps every day after I shower and then this is like I didn't blow dry or style or anything. I do have some of the blow up concentrate in there but this is how it looks at the ends. So I mean I don't really apply heat to my hair unless I'm curling it and it's for video. So I rarely put heat on my hair unless I'm just rough drying it. Then oh your show brow styler 002 universal dark brown and I love this color and I love the fact 
that it is more on the waxy side. There's a little bit left, so I can show you. But you can draw individual hairs if you need to. It's that precise, and I think it, it's more precise than any of the other pencils I've tried out there. So I, I will repurchase. Actually, I already have repurchased it. I just kept this so I could show you that I've completed it and let you know I have repurchased it. It's more of a cool brown color than a warm brown color, and I prefer cooler colors. And one more, the first Sully Rose Gold Elixir. It was very nice. I liked it. I don't think I had to have it in my routine, but it's. I think I liked the smell. Let me see. Okay, it doesn't smell good anymore, but it had a nice fragrance to it. I don't know, but I don't know if I need to have it. I have a couple other oils I'm trying out right now. And that's it for my empties, and now I get to finally throw all of this away. So let me know if you like empties, because I'll continue to collect my garbage for you and show it to you, which I think is kind of funny, but I, again, I think it's really useful. So if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Thanks! Mark, what? I'll tell you whether they want to purchase it or not. So, do I leave the air on?